Well, good morning, everybody. I guess I don't need a mask on. There's nobody out. Here I am, the Hard Rock. See you guys. I passed out. I don't know what time, but it's ready. I'm ready to roll because it's 5 a.m. And that's just when I get up and go, <laughs> or even before then. So apparently it doesn't matter how much tequila I've had. Your girl had a lot of tequila. <laughs> and it is a little bit rainy here, but it's beautiful, guys. Check it. It's so peaceful, too. I didn't think it would be this way. Check it out. I mean, look. Ah, it's so pretty. I feel like I should go and check this out because you don't get to appreciate these things when there's a shit ton of people everywhere, you know? And honestly, I don't know. I've only been to Atlantic City as an adult one time. It's weird that I even say as an adult, honest, because <laughs> it's true. I came, I think, once when I was like 13 with my mother and my grandmother. We drove in from the Bronx, and I, th I think we went home the same day. But look, oh my God, the ocean! Guys, I know you can't see me. Maybe I should turn this around, but I didn't get to go to the beach yesterday, which is what I do every day. So I get to come today. I really do have to get home and I don't want to walk the sand, but uh, look how beautiful. Check it. <gasps> it's gorgeous. And the ocean is really, truly just right beyond here. There's a palm tree, there's ocean, ocean, but I have suede booties on, so we're gonna go. And I literally am just across the street from the ladies, which is freaking awesome. Everything just fell into place. Everything literally just fell into place. So it was pretty rad because I didn't know that I would be, I had no idea that I would just be across the street from my girls. Like, yes, if you're walking the boardwalk, okay, you have to walk a little bit, but it's not even a half mile. That's nothing. So, yeah, so I don't know. I, I'm not even sure where my hotel is in comparison to where, like along this boardwalk, I'm not really sure, but it's not far. So I'm gonna say that night numero uno was a complete, complete success. I'm pretty sure Sarah had a great time. Uh, Eileen had a great time. <laughs> and I'll tell you, for the first time meeting in person, it, it was like we've already met, we've already known each other for the longest time. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, all the ladies are just awesome. Everybody, everybody is awesome. So we went to, um, well first I'll tell you, I checked into my timeshare. <sighs> epic, epic. The penthouse is on uh, the 30, I guess it would be the 34th floor and I'm like on 32 or something like that. So way up. <laughs> I have this incredibly beautiful balcony. Um, oh, check me out. Oh, I'm almost home. <laughs> anyway, I have this incredibly beautiful balcony. There's my place. This is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this easy. Everybody was concerned like, oh, you know, we need to make sure that you get home safe. And I truly appreciate that. Cause you know, if you guys don't know, actually, <laughs> that once upon a time, not that long ago, years ago, but not that long ago, several bodies <laughs> were buried in uh, Atlantic City. And there was this serial killer who, for all we know, could have been connected to the local police department where I live. Um, 
I mean, there's no proof of that. It's not, it, that's not been uh, uncovered. So this is me alleging that, <laughs> but the, the evidence is just eerie and definitely could tie back to him. I'm not a detective, nobody solved this case, but just saying, <laughs> just saying he was not charged with those murders, but there were like 20 of them. And uh, some of the bodies were buried here in Atlantic City and other bodies were buried on Long Island, not far from where I live. So you can do your research and find that information. But when I canceled my reservation here at the Hard Rock, I um, had a little resistance because I thought about going home late night, you know what I mean? You know, you know? Hey! <laughs> my sister said I could be a... I forget what she said, but like a witch, <laughs> witch in the wardrobe in the woods, but I'm not in the woods. I'm in AC. <laughs> and uh, I do like this outfit, but you know, if you're walking around like this, you never know. You set yourself up to be a little vulnerable, you know? But my ladies were concerned about that, and apparently, I don't even know the freaking game we were playing last night. All I know is that there was a black deck and a white deck, and you had to drink at some point. And I know I was holding a glass before I passed out, but I don't know. And I woke up in a bed alone. So whoever was supposed to be sleeping in that bed, I'm sorry. <laughs> but look at where I am. This is my boom. That's where I'm staying. Amaze balls. <laughs> so, and it's only been seven minutes that I'm recording. So if I, it's only seven minutes and I took a detour. That wind, your girl's gonna get a cold. Let me change this. What is going on? Hello. But, um, seven minutes so obviously I'm not that far and uh, you know they were great because they wanted to make sure that I got home safely so I guess they just let me crash because you know when you do actually me anyway when I actually crash I'm dead weight and I wouldn't remember shit and that's the problem one tequila two tequila three tequila floor I never hit the floor though. <laughs> and I definitely had way more than four tequila. <laughs> it was so good though. I had the Añejo, Don Julio. Don Julio, Añejo. We're pals. No, it wasn't Casa Dragones, which is what I would have loved. But I am very, very happy and I'm so grateful. Sarah's husband's wife picked up the entire tab. I'm like, I, I, I was having trouble at first even accepting that. If you guys know me, you'll know that I have a hard time accepting help from anybody and I was totally prepared to just, you know, totally prepared to spend whatever. I'm on vacation, I wasn't worried about that. I came because I could, you know, I wanted to celebrate Sarah. So, but that was so incredibly, generous and just I don't know Don's a, a really good person that was awesome and I'm so grateful ate like a freaking whew, broke my fast finally at around 3 30 yesterday and ate like a queen and here I am guys so I'm gonna go inside now I have to put my mask back on of course but uh I'm gonna go and settle into my place because I literally spent a half hour here. Uh-oh. I need to share, shine my light. Boop. Here we go. So cool. Hang with me for a minute. Don't go anywhere. Hi guys, good morning. Good. Good, good. Thank you. And here we go. Up to... Oh, I'm sorry. I lied. 
I lied. Penthouse is on 32 and I'm staying on 30. Okay. So look at that. 10 minutes to get there and back. And it's really cool because I don't even need to use a key. They give you this awesome wristband. I'm staying at the Club Wyndham Skyline Tower. Probably shouldn't be telling anybody that. <laughs> but who's coming to get me, right? <laughs> and if you are, by the time you see this and you get here, good luck. But um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it couldn't have been any more easy. Like I literally pulled up to the skyline and looked across the street and was like, holy shit, Hard Rock is right across the street. Uh, let me find out where I am. I'm over this way. And uh, yeah, so it was pretty cool to just know that I was only walking distance away because we didn't know how that was going to work out. And uh-oh. I might have gone the wrong way. Shit. No. Maybe this is my room? Guys, I don't know where my room is. Oh no. I better go find out. All right, this is where it ends, but day one was absolutely awesome. We had a really great time. To be continued, see you later.